So um, for kids, we uh, installed um, two car seats. Uh, one is, uh, you know, you can see the base uh, only at this point. And one of the uh, car seats here. And also we installed uh, this booster chair. Um, mostly using seatbelts. So you can install, um, I guess, another two car seats here or booster chair using the seatbelt. Like you have it here and here. Have two of them so in total you could install five car seats um, but it's uh, very difficult i'll explain why a little bit later and you need to uh obviously uh, lower this table um into this position where you can actually make a bed here using this and this uh, for now i don't have them uh, that way so as you can see this is very tight i'll pull it you see, it's not moving at all. It's really, really tight. And I guess sideways, yes, always a little bit. But then, you know, um, back and forward, there's zero movement. And same thing here, very tight. Not, it always moves a little bit um, sideways. But, you know, back and forth, it's really tight. And position-wise, it's also good. Um, it's a little bit off. But um, I have uh, some clothes underneath there um, to make it, you know, a little bit more level. It's supposed to be like this. You can move the clothes outwards a little bit to make it a little bit better in that sense. So there you go. And then uh, I'll remove them so you can see how I installed them. And same thing with the booster. It's really, really tight. Um, so, but because... Um, you, there's not a back anchor, so if your kids can do something like this, then it's gonna come off, okay? But for our trip, it's entirely safe. This never happened, so I'm removing it so bad. So it's really dirty, as you can see. It's seatbelt based, and you see the indentation. That means it was uh, secured very, very well. Like the way we do it is we have one person's weight. Um, either the person sit right into uh, the booster or the car seat. Or, you know, I just use one of my foot to press it down really, really tight while pulling uh, this end of the seatbelt. So um, it works really well. So that's why you can install, you know, uh, boosters or car seats wherever um, there are seatbelts. Um, and for this one, because it has a back anchor, only this chair though, as you can see, I um, use the anchor right here and the hook um, to install this one. Um, so it's relatively safer. When it comes up like this, there's another hook here. But here, um, because this is uh, only a base, right? So there's uh, no such thing. So this is seatbelt only, but it doesn't come off as as, as the booster because uh, you see, it goes around the base and same thing with the car seat. So car seats are in general safer because uh, there's no way for it to, you know, get off the seatbelts in any case. Um, so I'll start with this one. Um, so you really, when, when installing it, you really need to press it all the way down. So I always put my knee, um, one of my knees here, really hard. Or have my wife sit right onto this and then uh, squeeze it, you know, back in. Um, as I pull the seatbelt, right? And as I said, it's extremely difficult, but you can do it. And you see the indentation here, like how far, how far back it goes into the, this, you know, this uh, cushion. Okay, and I, I spent probably more than an hour installing this correctly. I almost gave up, to be honest. Um, and you want it to be extremely tight, like back and forth, back and forth. There's almost no movement at all. You see, I can't really pull it, um, pull it out. And I, it's really hard for me to push it uh, further in. And this, with this type of uh, car seat base, this is pretty much the best you can do because you see, if I pull it uh, any more tight, 
this part of the seatbelt is going to move up to here. And as a result, you wouldn't be able to put your uh, car seat into this space at all because this will be blocking. Um, so I ran into that problem before. Okay, so now um, take a look at again. Um, it's like this. And also, extremely importantly, I would, you know, put this kind of, uh, I guess, front-facing car seat on the outside because it has, uh, you know, it can use the uh, the anchor in the back. So it's safer, you know. And if you put this one outside, it's seatbelt only. So potentially it moves sideways uh, pretty easily. Then it can fall off the chair like that. So I, I, I would always recommend that you put, you know, the base only uh, car seat um, towards the window. So it's sandwiched, you know, by this car seat and the, you know, side wall of the, the coach. Okay, so I'll release this as we're returning the rental. Releasing it is extremely easy, it's just like that. And then it's gonna come out like that. So, oops, a lot of uh, trash. So you see the indentation? It was uh, really, really tight. Um, okay, and there's an anchor back there. Um, I can show you a little bit later. And then now there's only this one, it's still really tight. Only a uh, minimum, you know, sideway movement. And then uh, back and forth, there's zero movement at all. You can't move it, you just can't. Okay. And then now I'll release the C belt. And even this one is really, really difficult because when you really tighten up the C belt, the uh, I don't know if you can see it, but the seatbelt thing goes into uh, the channel, the back channel here. So it was really easy. Uh, it, it wasn't easy at all to get, you know, the seatbelt thing into that channel. So it took really a long time for me to get it right. But it, it's worth it. We used it for like 25 days. So seatbelt's out. You see? You see how you know, how tight it was done. This is gonna recover after a while. You see here, it's recovering already. So don't worry about it. If you are really worried, just, you know, you see it's still uh, A-OK. -okay. If you are really worried about, uh, you know, um, breaking this chair, just put some uh, clothes down there um, and you, you'll be fine. Okay. And now, the C belt has been released. We still have uh, the back anchor connected. So to remove that, we need to remove this back cushion. Yeah, so, so it comes out. Okay. And now you can see what's going on here. Right? Um, but, and, and there is another one here as well you, that you can use. And this, uh, I guess uh, this um, couch is the, this is the only place where you find these two anchors. You know, not anywhere else, not here, not here. But still, as I said, other than the uh, front facing uh, car seats, it's really, you know, the only thing that you can use is the, the seat belt. That's, you know, truth to be told. Um, that's what's going on. And now I'll release this. It's a little bit tricky. Done. Now that's removed and then you can pull you know, the, ho the whole thing the hook on the top like this.